My publisher in New York for this new line of books he's bringing out has coined the battle cry, take back your mind. And I think that's a pretty good way of putting it. Take back your mind because we have transferred our loyalty to mythical structures, you know, structures about sexual politics, about what a man is supposed to be, what a woman is supposed to be, what, how much money a person is supposed to have, how much art they're supposed to produce, how many times a week they're supposed to get laid. All, we have all these images that we're supposed to live up to, very complex, all being sold down to us through a culture whose motivations are very murky and highly suspect. I mean, is it culture is not your friend. You know, all these people who want you to smell good and drive the right car and have your extra facial hair removed and all that. These are not your friends, these people. <laughs> and uh, it, it pays to remember that, you know, that there's a, a, a struggle on for loyalty, that you, you are much more, um, you look much better to the institutional structure if you work hard, consume quietly, choose from the political menu without a lot of uh, fuss and, and, and that sort of thing. But in fact, you know, th this kind of business as usual has led to the sort of lethal crisis we're in. Our real problem, well, it's, it's two things which are two sides of the same coin. It's, it's ego and an inability to emotionally connect with the true outline of the situation. Because the true outline of the situation is fairly horrendous. It's that um, some, somewhere around 1945, or you name it, but that seems all right, uh, we began to loot the future as a strategy for survival, as some kind of ethical uh, norm was shattered in the same way that in uh, late, uh, well, in early mercantile civilization, there was this horrifying moment when even though slavery had been dead for a thousand years, they realized that if they brought back this wholesale uh, uh, sale and transport of human beings they could make millions in sugar and it was like the heart of darkness reared up and uh, and they went for it and uh, our circumstance is uh, is somewhat similar we have embarked on a similar kind of descent into an ethical dark dimension by looting the future. And this is going on at a faster and faster rate. I mean, this current situation in the Middle East, uh, much could be said about it, but, uh, you know, any moral justification seems preposterous. I mean, what's happening is 8% of the world's people use 35% of the world's petroleum and are ready to blow everybody off the map to keep it that way. I mean, this is nothing more than a manifestation of junky psychology on a mass scale. It's, you know, we're addicted, they've got it, we're happy to pay for it, but if they won't sell it, we'll break into their house and take it, because by God, it will go into our good right arm. That's the plan. And, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's the culmination of uh, the, the whole machine age metaphor. I mean, this is the golem of Metropolis. This is the robot mind run amok. This is Frankenstein. This is Brave New World. It's a world where uh, lethal habitual activities can nevertheless not be controlled. And... Uh, it's a perfect example 
of culture with lockjaw of the mind, 